high school in Chakowitz. I went to study architecture in Zagreb. And then after I finished university, I worked in Chakowitz for a little while and then applied for masters in architecture in California. And the reason why I went to California is that I was totally fed up with bad weather in winter and cold. And I said, there is no winter in California and I don't have to wear long sleeves and pants and be cold anymore. So I went to California. Of course, later on I found out that the, the school I went to was a really good school. <laughs> so that's how my adventure started. Uh, I was in LA, in California. And I stayed there after I graduated and I met my husband who is Jamaican, which you probably already know because Helena is always saying that. Mama is Croatian, Tata is Jamaican. Well, Helena was born in California. She's a surfing dude. <laughs> and then we moved to Jamaica and she grew up there and started playing with the ball there. And when we came back to North Carolina, Raleigh, North Carolina. She was, I think, three or four. That's when she started playing soccer. She was playing a forward, looking like a boy, wearing boys' shorts and boys' t-shirts and having short hair because she had curly, curly hair as she have now, but uh, the short hair would make her look like a boy, which she actually preferred because she was doing all the things boys were doing, running around, playing soccer. Um, what else were boys doing? Annoying mom more than girls and stuff like that. So when she came to Miami, she started playing for a team where she was the youngest or the smallest. And for some reason they put her in a back. Her being a forward, suddenly she is in defense, in a back, because she was little. At the time, like, the defense kids did not have to run very much. They were just more stationary <laughs> than anything else. So they put her there and she felt as if that was a punishment of some kind, that she didn't play well. That's why he put her in a back. Later on she was playing in midfield and I always, when, when I was negotiating with other teams for her to move from a team to another team, I had to insist that she plays in midfield because that's her natural position. So we had to travel from tournament to tournament where the scouts go and then notice them possibly and, and offer scholarships. So, her team was very active in that and quite a few girls got scholarships. She got offers that she didn't really want to accept because in the meantime, I already gave her as a birthday present a trip to Croatia <laughs> to a camp that uh, Dejan Klaforic was holding a, for a national team. And of course I got her passport and all those things, me being a Croatian. So she came here and found friendship. and. It is for her very, it is very important to have friendship in a team, which in professional soccer really is not that important. She decided to come to Croatia and then it evolved from there, enrolled in university, played for different teams and then uh, wanted to be a professional soccer player. So, being a, I don't know, um, she was in, a, in the beginning, she was ignoring the fact, which of course we were telling her, that professional soccer is not something that you can live off of. It could be a hobby, it could be something you do for a little while, and we gave her freedom. You know, I'm an only child and she's an only child, so I know that you can have more freedom that way than if you have brothers and sisters and you compete for attention. And not only that, but I, I grew up independent because of that and I wanted her to be like that because our family is not very stationary. As, as I said before, we moved many times and found some benefit to that. You learn different cultures, you learn, pe you meet people, you learn about people. And I also took her traveling with us when we could go so that her horizons would open. That's my favorite phrase. You have to open your horizons so that you are not 
narrow-sighted like lots of Americans are to be honest and truthful so I didn't want her to be a typical American and I did all that I could think of so that she's not like that so uh, I don't know maybe maybe a result of that is her moving to Europe and uh, she likes it here she's she's very content it seems to me so I think she's still searching she's still searching for something that would give her pleasure and at the same time enable her to live life that she would like to do which is very hard I mean hey somebody there are lots of people who never find it but she's trying so we let her do that you know of course we are um, we're separate again she's here we're there uh, I come here as often as possible to be but you know we are at, at this moment, her being her age and I'm being who I am, I think we have similarities, her and I, but we're in some kind of crisis because we clash very often, which we didn't used to do before. So we decided that we have to take a trip and see if we can smooth out those things. <laughs> I'm glad that she's doing or was doing journalism and you know filming and being active that way because she's good personality for this uh, and I'm also glad that she is still in sports because she loves it so I don't know if she can combine the two somehow it would probably be ideal for her but she hasn't found a way to do that yet you know she's doing those things separately and in her blog, she does combine the two to a certain extent. And I guess she needs a little patience and maybe this blog will be a humongous success, you know? It seems to evolve, it seems to have evolved from the beginning where she was telling her story of how she came from where she came and where is she going. Uh, and she tries to live off of whatever she makes, you know? So this is admirable. And of course, um, you know, she, we would help her if we need to, but you know how young people, they want to prove themselves and they want to be on their own and independent. So that's what she's doing. So we admire that as well. So um, we don't have any hardline demands and uh, we don't say you have to do that and you have to make so much money and blah, blah, blah. So no, I, I don't have, like I said, just guidelines, just guidelines.